what up guys back with another video today um took the weekend off per usual like we usually do uh missed yesterday monday just because i was being lazy um but i asked you guys on instagram which i wanted to see on the channel uh had a couple guys hit me up about things that they wanted to know from my own personal experience um uh, one of them was how i got started in bullfighting <clears throat> excuse me um man i've been around rodeo my entire life since i was five years old uh road calves steers all that stuff growing up i quit rodeo when I was probably 12 or 13 maybe um until I was 17 just because I was so invested with football and then I got into powerlifting in high school um so I quit from when I was 12 13 till I was 17 almost 18 and started riding bulls again was never very good at it pretty much sucked I <laughs> maybe rode a handful of bulls and it's not something I'm saying ashamed to say I mean I I wasn't a good bull rider but uh my dad used to be a bullfighter back in the 80s and 90s um so I wanted to try bullfighting since he did it, see if I was any good at it, see if I enjoyed it, um, you know, because I wasn't ready to walk away from rodeo yet. I just knew I wasn't going to be a bull rider. Um, so I went out with my buddy Blake Miller to Bad Dog Rodeo Arena in Belton, Texas one day, um, fought some bulls, fell in love with it, had a blast. Uh, wasn't very good for my first time, obviously, but took it, ran with it, went to some Rob Smith's, Miles Hair Schools, um, learning from guys that were just out of Bad Dog um pretty much just just took off with it man the best i could and, you know two years two and a half years into it um i had my pro card you know ross met smiles uh hair were both pushing for me to get my pro card and they both signed for me um as, long, as well as my buddy cody Rostaki, who went to nfr a couple times riding bulls um but that's that's pretty much how I got started, man. That's where we're at now, just running with it, PRCAs, looking at PBRs. You know, Corona kind of screwed me getting my PBR card this year. Um, but it's whatever. We'll get it next year and hopefully take off with it there too. So um, there's the story of how I got into bullfighting. So without further ado, we're going to be watching. It's not really a promo video today. Um trying to find like some different highlights and stuff with bullfighting um and i found one today and it's all the best saves from jesse Byrne in the pbr um jesse's pretty handy i like the dude a lot i like watching him fight bulls you know now he's posting on instagram modeling or looking like a model stuff like that uh acting like bonner bolton out here but jesse's a very handy dude i like jesse a lot i like watching him fight bulls um and i think it showed a year on here i think it was 2016 through up till now pretty much um so we're gonna watch that Thank you, PBR, for throwing out these the cool bullfighter videos. I love watching these bullfighter videos that PBR puts out. Um, it's not just the bull riding videos. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. Take it a good shot. Good shot to start it out with, man. Taking them shots off the shins and knees like that, that hurt. Dashboarded. No gap, really. That's just one of the ones you know you're going to take. Good bull ride. Look at Frank with that little gap. Jesse floating back up, picking up when that bull turns off Frank. Jam up by Frank, too. Good bull ride by Taylor. Frank feels it. Good gap. Turns off Frank. Jesse waits on him a little bit. Get both hands on him. Heck of a gap. Still, I remember watching this on TV. I don't know how Jesse ducked underneath that without getting stomped on or kicked. Ridiculous, dude. Take the little bump, land on his feet, and then had the 
wherewithal to duck back up underneath him like that. It's insane. <clears throat> Switch, switch cameras. That's nuts, dude. Hop up, boom, landed, and duck. How how he doesn't get stopped, I don't know. Ben Jones. Ben Jones is a wild man, but he's cool to. Cool to be around for the most part. Hang up. Frank working hands, Jesse working ahead with a t shirt in his hand. <clears throat> I mean, sorry, I feel like I got stuff stuck in my throat. I've been a little under the weather. Alright guys, sorry for this little weird cut right here, but uh, Michaela called me so it screwed it up a little bit, but don't hang on with the t-shirt in his hand. Never dropped it. Another video. Is that Douglas? Duncan? Oh. Good move by Jesse. Yeah, Douglas. And you know that had to hurt. Getting pushed in that pipe like that. Dang, good move by Jesse. That horn up underneath his jersey, too, and just yanked him back down. I don't know if he necessarily got under his vest, but his jersey definitely did. Out of line, big old bull. Good job by Jesse. Good job by Frank. Good job by Shorty. All three. You bump, go right back to him. Job by Jesse. Doing just, doing just enough to keep that ball. Couldn't get in that gap, but I mean, grabbing him like that, making sure he's not going to go towards shoes. Just a little bump. No big deal. Dang, young Chase Outlaw. And hooked out of the arena during the bull riding. That's gnarly, man. Some of those corners get real tight like that. There's nothing you can do. Hop, skip. Come around. Good gap by Jesse. With the helmet and GoPro on. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, excuse me, man. Well, he's goofy with the helmet on. Douglas dead to rights. Good freaking gap. Some of these videos are really grainy. I guess because they are older. Damn good gap by Jesse. Way to freaking be. Saves from Jesse Byrne throughout the years with the PBR. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the story of how I got into bullfighting. Anything else you want to see on the channel, shoot me a DM on Instagram, Facebook, comment on here. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the notifications thing. That way y'all keep up with everything. Oh, almost forgot. The governor of Texas said we can get back to rodeo. And so, let's rodeo. You guys have a blessed day.